And now, the MTV series premiere of P. Diddy's Star Maker. You know me, and you know what I do. I make dreams come true. 14 singers from all over the country are coming to Los Angeles for one reason and one reason only. Their shot at fame. This is a chance of a lifetime for me. Hollywood is definitely a long way away from Mississippi. Seven men and seven women will compete in a singing competition unlike anything that you've ever seen before. With a chance for them to change their lives forever. I have an eight year old daughter who is fighting leukemia right now. There's nothing I want more than to show her that anything's possible. Every week they're performing this stage right here hoping to win the grand prize, a recording contract with me and Bad Boy Records. I have given up everything that I could just to try to make this happen. I need this. They'll live together, work together, and play together. And I'm giving them the tools that they'll need to become stars. After my dad died, music really saved my life. Music helped me deal with whatever situation comes in my way. But only one will win. Only one will become a star. Nobody wants this more than me. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. This is my show, Star Man. of P. Diddy's Star Maker. Now two performers are gonna be going home tonight, but the remaining 12 are gonna be moving into the Star Maker Mansion. Here's who you've all been waiting for. He is the ultimate VIP as the founder and chairman of Bad Boy Records. He has been making stars for years from the notorious B.I.G. to Danity Kane. He's an entrepreneur, a producer, and a Grammy award-winning performer. Please give it up for my boss, Mr. Sean Diddy Cole. Welcome y'all to my show. You're about to witness history. For the next 10 weeks, we're gonna be making stars. I'm not just looking for the best singer, the best musician. I'm looking for the best performer with the most talent and the most swagger. That perfect combination. I'm signing the best artists, period. Whether they're pop, rock, R&B, country, gospel, male or female. This is where it all begins. And when I'm making stars, y'all know I only rock with the best. I'm a busy man, so y'all know I had to bring along my boy, super producer Rodney Dogchild Jerkins, president of music services for Frontline Management, Tamara Conniff, and my newly made up friend again, sister in love, choreographer extraordinaire, Lorianne Gibson. I love you, brother. <laughs> Now, they're not just up there to judge, they're up there to hold me down. Okay, their opinions are golden for me. From now on, they're gonna help me decide which artists can make it to be stars. Are y'all ready for the hottest concert in Hollywood? Y'all give it up for Diddy one more time. And 
Backstage, industry veteran Johnny Wright will be their manager, guiding the performers on their journey. I'm about to go on stage for the first time, and my heart's racing. I've got a lump in my throat, and uh, just got to take a deep breath and go out there. Now the first artist has sacrificed his relationships for music, leaving behind his girlfriend in St. Louis. I know, sad. But he's here tonight. He has more on the line than ever before. He's performing Panic at the Disco's I Ride Sins, Not Tragedies. It's Todd Sarvis! Imagine as I'm pacing the pews in the church corridor And I can't help but to hear No, I can't help but to hear in exchanging of words What a beautiful wedding What a beautiful wedding Since a bridesmaid to a winner What a shame a poor groom's bride is a whore I chimed in with heaven to be without a word Closing the town door Rodney, what do you think of Todd? Did you rock it out? Todd, your vocals is crazy. You killed it tonight. Thank you. Tamara. I agree that your vocals are great, but I felt like you watched the Panic at the Disco video too much. I felt like there was some... I felt there was just a little bit too much imitation, and what I want to see is you be yourself. Miss Lorianne, what do you think about Todd? It's good that wait, you went first, you did your thing, but I'm not mad that you borrowed a bit from Panic at the Disco. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. Don't let that knock you. Sometimes you're the only one with the vision, Playboy. Good job. All right, everybody, give it up one more time for Todd Sarvies. Thank you. It's kind of upsetting that they think I'm being fake, and I'm honestly not. So I hope that doesn't come to haunt me, because <laughs> that's the hardest thing for me to hear. That was the hard part. I get to sit here and here, yeah, sit wait down. for my fate. You know? yeah. Todd was amazing. I haven't heard him sing before right now, so put a little bit of nerves into me. Like, wow, these people are going to be good, but I'm good too. Okay, so sometimes people tell you, don't quit your day job. But this next artist did just that, leaving behind her life as a shoe saleswoman for the Star Maker stage. She's from Keyport, New Jersey, singing Duffy's Mercy. It's Mariana May.
She's got some sass, huh? That girl, she's such a... She's doing what she needs to do. Okay, let's go to the judges. Mr. Rodney. 